Josh, while I'm busy, how about you just pick out a nice uh, lump of fruit for yourself? Mm. <laughs> 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 Just enough. Enough fun and games, they mean business. Use me! Hit the gas! Uh-oh, big monkey! Run down! The last two Crash Bandicoot games thus far are Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutants. Crash of the Titans came out in 2007 and Mind Over Mutant came out in 2008. These games allowed you to fight and had combat modes instead of the usual. It was all about fighting and defeating Cortex's evil mutants that he has newly created. It seems that Cortex has finally did it. He's made an army of super-powered mutants, and Crash has to stop them. Luckily, with the help of Aku Aku, he can take control of them and use them for his own advantage. The story of Crash of the Titans? Crash is just hanging out, and Cortex says, Ha ha, I got new mutants to, to take you, and it's my plan is completely complete. Completely complete! Ah! Yes. So Cortex tries to defeat Crash, but he fails, of course. Oh yeah, you can never stop that little orange ball of wonder! Yeah. That was a little weird. Okay. And Uka Uka is just so mad at Cortex because every time he fails. So, he decided that it's time for a replacement. So Nina Cortex took the replacement of Cortex and Uka Uka and Nina start creating the Dominator To completely destroy Wampa Island once and for all. But Crash stops them so easily. And Cortex is back in charge after that. He's really mad at Nina. So then, in Mind Over Mutant, Cortex puts N Nina in public school instead of her special school in Twin Sanity isn't so great. And Cortex has a new plan in Mind Over Mutant to make the NVs, which can take control of just normal guys and create them to be his monsters that he wants them to be. And with the help of Dr. Nitrous Brio, oh, he's back! Yes, this is the first time since Crash Bandicoot 2, Dr. Nitrous Beer has had a major acting role. Anyway, together, Cortex and Brio decide to take Uka Uka down. And so they do. But then Crash once again comes to save the day and takes down the giant space head, which adds to the junk on Wampa Island. Yeah, but what comes after that? Once he defeats Cortex. Well, we don't really know because no more games have come out. 
That's the end of the story for now. Yo, oh, but that's so sad. For gameplay, you play as Crash, but not only do you have your wonderful spin, but you also can do a couple punches. And you can use Aku Aku's power to control the giant mutants that Cortex has made. With Aku Aku, you can jack them, take control of them, and use them for your advantage. Oh, you can jack them? Well, that's great, but uh, just one thing, uh, you know, uh, Cor Crash seems pretty cold because he never wears a shirt. Maybe he should wear a jacket once in a while. <laughs> Was that like a joke? Yeah, get it? Because Crash jacks the mutants <laughs> and jacket. Ha <laughs> ha! That's so funny! Yeah, that is pretty funny. Is that all you say? And in Crash Mind Over Mutant, you can store your mutants, which is a new feature. Feature creature! Oh, another joke! You need to stop with the jokes, okay? Yes, there's a great number of mutants to take control of. One of them is the spike one, which is half porcupine and half something else and half monster. Oh, porcupine like this? Okay. Do you like go in the forest and take these pictures or something? Actually, yes. Oh, you got my secret. Okay. For prototypes, Crash of the Titans used to have Coco and Crunch were intended to be to be able to jack. Coco had a special move that allowed you to fly, and Crunch had a special move which had a slingshot. During this time, the game was called Crash Jackin. Wow! Crash Jackin! Hey! <laughs> Wanna hear my joke again? No, no, please. The baby dinosaur and Pura were also going to be included in this game. For versions, in Crash of the Titans, the Xbox version had much better graphics and had a glossy effect. In Mind Over Mutants, the Xbox version had Coco playable for the second player in co-op mode. This was not seen in PlayStation 2 because PlayStation 2 couldn't handle it, but Xbox 360 could.